Welcome to the Office 365 update for April of 2017. In the next 10 minutes or so, I'll be giving you a quick rundown of the latest Office 365 updates. So, you watch this video, crank up your Office 365 client, don't see the feature I just covered, and the more skeptical viewers wonder if Microsoft has pulled the old bait and switch. That's not the case at all. Here's what's really going on. Let's start with consumer subscriptions. For Office 365 Home and Office 365 Personal subscribers, updates to Windows, Mac, Windows Mobile, and iOS first roll out to participants in the Office Insider program, with Android updates being handled slightly differently. It's easy to become an Office Insider, and I've provided everything you need in the additional resources. Office 365 Business and Office 365 Enterprise subscribers must meet at least a few conditions if they want to see the latest updates. First, the organization's Office 365 tenant needs to be configured for what is known as the current channel release cycle. Office 365 Business tenants are on the current channel by default, but Office 365 Enterprise tenants are on the deferred channel by default. Second, even if your organization is on the current channel, you need to work with your admin to make sure your Office 365 account is designated for first release. Desktop clients and organizations with Office 365 Business and Office 365 Enterprise on the current channel and first release can expect an update cadence like the consumer subscriber on the Office Insider slow ring. All other users will have to be a little bit more patient. Check out the links in the transcript or the additional resources to learn more. Do you remember last month's Power BI segment when I said, if you blink, you'll miss a slew of great new features constantly being introduced? It sometimes seems like one month a uh, new feature is on my wish list, and then the next month it's delivered to my desktop. That's also true of Excel's Get and Transform capabilities, built on Microsoft's Power Query technology. Updates from the March Office blog post cover new horizontal list expansion transformation and an enhanced SQL Server connector. If you're having trouble keeping up with all the updates, just go to the What's New in Excel 2016 page on the Office Support site. It catalogs all the recent updates to Excel organized by the month the update was released. A quick reminder, these updates are available as part of an Office 365 subscription. If you are using Excel 2010 or Excel 2013, you can still take advantage of these updates by downloading the latest Power Query for Excel add-in. Links are provided in the transcript to this course. Visio is the industry-leading diagramming and visualization solution. It helps you simplify and communicate complex information with data link diagrams. Today, there are over 12 million business professionals who are using Visio for diagramming, process modeling, and data visualization. On March 1st, the Visio team announced the release of Microsoft Visio Online, which enables you to share and view Visio diagrams in high fidelity from almost any device using your favorite browser. In addition to online viewing, there's a new commenting feature for Visio Online, giving you and your team a place to review and discuss process flow, shape data, and more without switching windows. And for all you developers out there, there's new Visio JavaScript APIs that extend the capabilities of Visio Online for developers. Using these APIs, organizations can now build rich Visio-enabled solutions to meet their specific requirements. To learn more, follow the link in the Office blog post to the Frequently Asked Questions page. I hope you saw the big announcement on March 14th that Microsoft Teams is now rolling out to Office 365 customers worldwide. It's a new chat-based workspace in Office 365 that brings together people, conversations, and content so teams can easily collaborate to achieve more. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella introduced the world to Microsoft Teams back on November 2nd. Since then, more than 50,000 organizations have started using it with a base of over 85 million active users. And the Office team has introduced more than 100 new features addressing top customer requests. You can learn more about Microsoft Teams by reading the March 14th Office blog post, which includes a complete product tour.
I've also provided a link to a great Office 365 tech community blog post by my colleague Brian Levinson that includes links to resources for admins to get up to speed. The old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know, has frequently been proven true, at least in my experience. And in the modern workplace, the best connected employees get the most done. The challenge is that people usually know what information they need, but are unable to track down the people that have the answers they're looking for. That's where Office 365 can help. On March 10th, the Office team began rolling out an extended profile card experience across Office 365 to enhance the way you collaborate with both internal colleagues and external contacts. By tapping into the Office 365 graph and machine learning, the new Office 365 profile card can identify information relevant to you based on the person you're looking up. This can help you quickly look up documents that have been shared with you regardless of how they were sent. We're also working to help employees connect with people across the organization that they don't traditionally interact with. The new organization view shows a complete picture of the highlighted user's position in the company, including their direct reports and coworkers. The new profile card experience is available everywhere you see a person's name. You can access recent files shared with you, see the people an individual works with and all their contact information without navigating away from the page. The information is easily accessible without interrupting your workflow. Yammer empowers people to connect with others across their organization to share ideas and get things done. In Yammer, groups provide a structure for people to gather in open spaces to share best practices, develop into communities of interest, and collaborate on new initiatives. On March 2nd, the Office team announced the integration of Yammer with Office 365 Groups, the group membership service that provides a single identity for teams of all shapes and sizes across Office 365. Now, when you create a new group in Yammer, it will automatically be part of the Office 365 Groups service, giving the group a OneNote notebook, a planner for task management, a SharePoint Online team site, and a document library. Now you and members of your group can readily access these shared resources directly from Yammer. A couple of important caveats. The integration between Yammer and Office 365 groups affects customers who first have enforced Office 365 identity in their networks and second have only one Yammer network associated with their Office 365 tenant. You can find more details in the Q&A section of the March 2nd Office blog post. As announced on March 1st, the new Office 365 Service Health Dashboard is now available to all customers. Since the first preview announced at Ignite in September of 2016, the new Service Health Dashboard has provided admins with a deeper level of Service Health Insight. Recent improvements include a view that separates major business critical outages from others and splits them into two categories, incidents and advisories. This view makes it easier to identify issues needing immediate attention. To help you quickly understand the incident, a summary view surfaces the most relevant and critical details to you in two short sentences that are easy to understand. If you want access to additional information, simply click on the Show Details link for a more detailed view. In addition, a rating option now enables admins to provide feedback on the accuracy and usefulness of the information of each post on the Service Health Dashboard. That's it for now. As always, I enjoy reading your emails. Send your feedback or success stories to Office 365 Update Series at Microsoft.com, and I or someone from my team will be happy to respond. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next month.